unforgiveness is this chain you see how solid this chain is I'm holding on to it he's holding on to it this chain is unforgiveness or like the Bible says that if you have unforgiveness in your life regardless of who's right or who's wrong there are prayers that will not be answered God has given because of prayers because of destiny what God has already preordained and destined for my life it's sitting right there and I'm trying to get to it oh unforgiveness unforgiveness I can go everywhere I want to go but as long as I want what's in that gift oh I'm holding on to it unforgiveness Dave is in that gift my wife that I'm gonna marry is in that gift the opportunity to stand here to preach and preach to you the Word of God is in that gift but as long as I hold on to it I cannot get to it David and Annika, Reggie, Anita, the worship team will sing and lead us in worship. One of my favorite songs. We all love it. If they did it right now, everybody will have their hands lifted up and pray and sing it. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. But guess what? God is saying to you, you break the chain. It's your responsibility to break the chain. As long as you hold on to it, you will not be forgiven. You will not get there. Because guess what? That package that God has for you is in the streets called love. It's in the intercession of the streets called love and forgiveness streets. So you will never get to love and forgiveness street to pick up your package that's from God to you as long as you hold on to this chain. So what do you do? Simply, you have to let go. When you let go, you're free to pick up your package. That's the only requirement that Jesus has. Dave, my son, is here in this package. What are you holding on to? Yes, somebody has done something against you. Because I want everything that God has for me. I don't want to get to heaven and find out that I could have had this much. I could have done this much for God. But all I was able to do was this much. Why? Because of unforgiveness. No, I don't want that. So you've got to let go. Forgive yourself. Forgive people in your life. Like I said, do not be conformed to this world. Don't do it the world's way. Because the world's way is you've got to maintain your pride and your integrity. They did it wrong against you. They are the ones that are supposed to come and ask for forgiveness. But God is saying, no, you forgive. Imagine me still holding on to this chain. It says, forgive. In order for you to have joyfulness, to be free, you've got to walk in forgiveness. It's too expensive. We've got to be like Jesus, who while he was on the cross, that's our example. That's who we're called to emulate. That's what we're called to be like while he was on the cross, being persecuted, being stoned, being speared. He said, Father, while he was still experiencing the pain father forgive them for they don't know what they're doing jesus after he came back from the dead you know the first thing he did he had to forgive peter his best friend his best friend his closest associates denied him three times when they asked him do you know him he said i don't even know that guy I don't know who Jesus is but when Jesus came from the dead the first thing he said is go and tell my disciple and Peter that hey I may not have the faith to make the blind to see I may not have the faith 
to raise the dead, to make the lame to walk. But I have the love of God to forgive. The biggest power that anybody could ever possess is the ability to let go and forgive. That's the highest form of faith. Your forgiveness. That the closest you can ever get to be like God is not to give somebody a car. It's not to give somebody a house. It is to forgive because the greatest miracle that happened was on the cross when he said, Father, forgive them. The highlights of Jesus' walk on earth for three, three and a half years was not the fact that he raised Lazarus from the dead. Was not the fact that he made the woman that was bowed over to rise up. No, it's the fact that he forgave. You be like God. Love like God. Keep no record of wrongdoing like God. Forgive yourself. I'm telling you, there is someone here, if you would pick up the phone today and call that person that has wronged you, your father, your mother, whoever it is, I can bet you in less than three months, you're going to experience some miracles in your life. Things that you were not able to get before, suddenly, easily comes to you. It's all wrapped in unforgiveness. You've got to let go. That's what today is about. Let go. You break the chain. It's your responsibility. When you do what I'm telling you, children will return. Your relationship with your parents will return. Your relationship with your children will come back. With your whoever 